Welcome back, guys, to Amnesia, to the Dark Descent. I am Zombified Weasel. This should be the final episode. What if it is not? Well, then, I have no idea. Before I touch that, I want the crap to touch that, and this is gonna hurt. Owie! I got an owie! I guess you just have to guess that you do that, because I didn't see anything that tells you to do that. Oof, one more will kill me. Never should have come here. Pain! I fell down. We. Vomit! Vomit now! I hope you people are vomiting. <laughs> I'm not touching any of you, can you be? Eh, yeah, fudge. It hurts. Is it or a shame, but yeah. God damn it. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see a yes. I convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Yes. Good. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa? So, essentially, you could just knock these over. Ah, we. Or I guess wait. I don't know how long you need to wait for. I guess I have to wait for the portal to open. I don't know how long. Oh, fucker. Stupid thing. I don't know how long it takes. I've never tried before. I suppose a good why are you supposed to destroy those? Na, 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 na. I don't know how to progress it. I have a seven head here, you want it? Oops. Come on. Ah, 
They seem to have grubber in his nipples. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. Please, help him. I know you can. I never got to the Shandy. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. Never got that in you. <laughs> Twenty eighteen, I'm pretty sure it was way before twenty eighteen. <laughs> and none of them were ever in the same room. Go figure. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sure some of them were, but they all weren't. I think they worked through Skype or something like that. It's quite interesting. That's what I've heard. I'm not being skeptical, I'm just saying. Do not ask me to pronounce some of those. I cannot. It is Swedish, I think. <laughs> ah, Richard Topping. I never actually seen. I, I didn't look. Daniel is Richard. Sam is Alexander. Oh, Bill Corkery. You're the calming voice, huh? Or monkey voice. Damn. You do a good Agrippa. Feel like if I had heard his voice in real life, I'd feel safe. <laughs> I don't know what else to say except. I have a lot of time left. I don't know if I really want to let out a four minute episode. I probably could have left. I probably could have left this in the previous one, but I didn't know. And. Aha. So it puts us back here. That was the dark descent. Well, I guess this is going to be a short episode. Because for me to go to a, something else, I'd have to stop recording, I think. Because. Oh, ooh, excuse me. In order for me to go back to the game select, I would have to start a new game. Or restart the game. Yeah, I don't remember if they really thought that through. But. Well, that was an easy to dark descent. My first. First time I ever saw this game was years ago. Maybe like a few years after I had initially made my YouTube account. My brother had been watching a certain Swedish meatball. Whom I started watching. But then started to dislike. And unsubscribe promptly. And never looked back.
And then there was another... The other person I watched. I don't know if it was specifically, uh... The Dark Descent. I don't think I watched anybody play The Dark Descent at really. Come to think of it. I only watch custom stories. But... Well, you heard me mention Tiny Fox, Tim. Like, you can guess who from that. And you already guessed who the other one was, because I said Stefano. And Piggy. <laughs> but, you know. I was still getting into horror at the time, so I did. I didn't know it wasn't the actual game. I it was a custom story. I didn't know. I wish I had that option. I mean, they did it. They did it with Doom. They did it. With, they're doing it with Quake. I don't know why they can't do it with this. Just. Post ones that are really good, not shitty ones. Oh, I've seen plenty of shitty ones. And also showing the Swedish meatball playing them, they were so bad. I hate the ones that I just jump scare the jump scare needlessly. Pick up a progression. Jump scare. Ooh, do this. Jump scare. No, that, that's bad. That's bad. I'm not claiming to be a god of horror. I would gladly give that distinction to uh, Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> god forbid he ever watched this. You're welcome for the compliment. You are just. You are a master of horror, okay? The fact that you helped with Silent Hill and all those that you helped with Silent Hill, I'm just goddamn man. <laughs> it's one of my favorite games, favorite uh, series. Sad what Konami did with it, but what can you do? The fact that the next entry was going to be Kojima. And, and, Guillermo del Toro working together? That would have been such a sick game. Oh my god. I'm sad we didn't get that. It's also unfortunate I never actually played completely through the PT demo. <laughs> I had it. I had it. I just couldn't get myself to go into the bathroom. I was way too scared, and then probably deleted it because it was taking up space. And then they removed it. I thought because I still had it, I'd be able to re-download it. Not the case. Because I was gonna have my ex-friend, who I mentioned in the beginning of the Let's Play, play it. Counter I couldn't read down one, which I was upset about. Oh well. It was unfortunate, but I needed the space. And I wasn't exactly playing that. But then how would I have known that was gonna happen? Oh well. Shit happens. But, yeah, I saw this game was coming to console. I thought, yay, I get to play it now. That wasn't just Dark Descent, it was the collection, all three at the time. Now there's a fourth one. Like I said, I'm not doing Justine. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the aspect of permadeath games. 
It's just so stupid. It worries with Binding of Isaac. Because otherwise you'd be just way too overpowered every run. It, it just works with that. I, I don't... Like, 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 okay. Let's say, like, Ocarina of Time had permadeath. You're good enough. Well, to be fair, I did beat the entire game without dying 100%. Rather, I should say without getting a game over. Because I always had fairies on me. And it only counts if you don't have a fairy. So technically, I beat the game without getting a game over. I did that a few times. But all 100%. Which, I wish I could record that. I would love to do that 100%. <laughs> but, I can't. So, Amnesia? Oh, where was it? Oh, yeah. I can read it time having... Per say you... Like I said... We're going for a hundred percent. You're like near the end of the game. You're not again. It's how you have to start now, all the way back at the beginning, with nothing. Wouldn't that be frustrating? All those hours worth nothing now. Wouldn't that be frustrating? Wouldn't that be stupid? Or how about, how about Mortal Kombat? Once your character gets dead, once you lose a fight, you can always use that character ever again. That'd be dumb. I, I just, I just hate that mechanic. It's, it's stupid in my opinion. I can't remember what game it was, but that was an option I could have. Oh, Wildlands. Which I thought was so stupid, why? 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 Because it has upgrades and stuff and you die, you lose all that. That's stupid. I don't understand the point of it, but that's just me. I have not beaten Justine either, like I said before. Because I can't do the one suited. I, I just cannot figure out how to get away from him. And because of the permanent thing, I never get a chance to try again because I'd end up having to do everything up to that point and I don't want to keep doing that just to get another chance it's it's stupid I feel like it was a dumb decision on their part but that's just me they should have made that optional they could have made that hard mode fuck I don't know I have to do some serious thinking. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle a, a machine to take. I played it before a few times, but I've always had something in the back of it to calm my nerves. I don't hate scary games. I love them. It's just. Whew. Man, I'm thinking back to when I used to not do that with Sound Hill. Oh, that was so bad. 
Hell, it, technically, I could probably do two and three, but I don't know if I can record while I'm streaming. I would have to stream the HD collection. And I don't think I can record while doing that. I'm fairly certain I can't. But I would love to do all the Silent Hill games. That'd be awesome. Because I know a good deal of the lore. I can't. Did this just turn into a vlog? Yeah. Fuck, I would love to play through Left There's a lot of games. I'd like to play through Left 4 Dead 2, but I don't have the means to record. That's bots. Ah, uh, well, my brother does have an Xbox One, but I don't know if I can actually record on there like this. Not that I ever want to touch one again. I, no, I have beef with Microsoft. Fuck that. How long have I been rambling? Ooh, wow. I'm actually wasting a lot of time, which is what I wanted to do. I didn't want to put, in, put out like a four minute episode. But, I, as I was saying, I'm gonna have to do some thinking with the machine if it picks. I don't know if my psyche can handle it. Cause that does a lot better. With the atmosphere. I mean, just, there's no inventory. There's no inventory anymore. There's still puzzles. Not, not as complex, though. There's not like I need to find items. No. I do have to find items. It's just I have no inventory. So I have to pick them up one by one. But it's not too terrible. And the lantern is infinite this time. The problem is it just gets so dark and a lot of things are just so scary. I don't know that I can do it. Uh, I'm not particularly afraid of the... Well, the pigs. That you're being given a machine for pigs. But goddamn, I don't know. That makes you wonder how I want to do Rebirth if I do that. Good God! So I actually was pretty terrified playing that. It's no joke. Because <laughs> that one legitimately plays all my fears of Claustrophobia, nyctophobia, fear of heights. No, seriously, there's just one part. It does that camera effect where it makes it seem like it's higher than it actually is, and that. that messed with me so bad. I do think I'll play them both, but I don't know when. I have to work up the nerve. <laughs> that being said, I also had in mind Layers of Fear and Layers of Fear 2 plus the Layers of Fear 1 DLC. But seeing as how even with something playing the background, I was so scared. I, I don't... Mm -hmm. Because everything's dark and I don't really have a means of lighting anything up. I 
I don't know. I'm glad this fucking thing that like this episode was about four minutes now. I don't know how many of you are gonna stay this long. Listening to me ramble, huh? I doubt many. But either way. That'll do it to this episode. I will see you in whatever next I record. Which, thinking about it... I'm not sure. Well, you'll know what it is when, when it's uplo uploaded. In either case... That does it for this episode. I'll see you in whatever I do next. So long. Stay zombied. Bye-bye.